Hello and welcome to Adventures Way. I'm Diana. And I'm Matt, and we're back on the property today with a wood chipper again, but this time it is the smaller wood chipper. This is the six inch, unlike the nine inch chipper that we rented last time. Big shout out to Essex Equipment for helping out our project with a discount on this rental today. We're pretty excited to be here. That chipper, as you saw in the last video, was an absolute beast. That thing was just insane what it could chew yes. through. Today, we don't need quite as much power. Today, we are just going to be chipping through a lot of the brush and the slash that we cleared from the driveway. Although there were some logs and things, we're saving those, we'll chop some of them up for firewood, a couple of others even maybe large enough for milling. So really today, most of the things we're doing are like smaller branches, probably the largest to maybe like three or four inches. Yeah. So fingers crossed the six inch chipper today should have no problems. And we learned a few things from last time. So this time we were not compressing the piles with the tractor. So that will make it easier for us to get stuff out of the piles. And also we left things in larger branches, like just whole treetops instead of chopping it up in very small pieces. Yeah, so that should make it quicker for us to feed, um, but there's some pretty heavy branches and things in there that we'll have to deal with. The goal really is to clear these big piles that we generated while we were clearing the driveway. We're gonna turn them into wood chips. These are gonna be some hardwood wood chips. We're gonna leave these in piles uh, pretty much in situ for the most part, yeah. uh, rather than trying to spread them on the trails. We don't mind if they sort of start to compost down a little bit. We, I'm sure Actually, we can find a use for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we'll find a use for that later on. Because, so. because these are hardwood uh, wood chips, they're not as acidic, so we can let these compost and then maybe next year or the year after that, they would be great for the uh, garden. Exactly. We also picked up some builder's bags, like the big kind of yard bags uh, that you can get. We might have a little experiment later and see if we're able to direct the wood chipper into one of those, um, just as a bit of an experiment again. Yeah. Uh, this time it doesn't make too much difference because we're going to leave the piles largely where they are. But we're just kind of intrigued to see if that'll work and if we can actually get it to fill the bags rather than just spraying everywhere and making yes. a mess. And that's kind of our goal is to take these projects one day at a time and experiment and learn so that uh, next time when we have a bigger project, we know exactly what to do. So without further ado, let's get started. This is our second pile. So this is the builder bag that's uh, rated for 2,000 pounds. So we'll see whether we manage to get the wood chips in it or not. What's your prediction? My prediction is that the the air blowing out of the chipper is just going to blow that clean away. <laughs> I think if we can get some wood chips started in it, yeah, there is a chance it may work. I'm going to go with a 40% chance. I think I'm more optimistic and eventually we'll persuade the wood chips to go in it. Yeah, I hope you're right.
Okay, so we have two piles out of three done. It's but, so cool to see the yeah, progress. That first pile was pretty slow going. We've let this stuff dry out for a couple of weeks, but it's still pretty wet. It's yeah. rained a lot here lately. We blocked the machine a couple of times. Um, I think what happened was like some of the wetter stuff and... The wines, I think? The vines don't seem to shred very well, yeah. um, particularly when they're wet, which I guess makes sense. Yeah. And then they kind of like clog up the chute and that can then kind of backs up. So we've clogged up the machine a couple of times, opened it up, cleared it out and got it going again. So no, no issues there. Yeah. Um, first part was a bit slow uh, because it was a lot of the stuff from the road mm -hmm. where it was like so brush. brush and just bushes and weeds and thorns and vines and brambles yeah. and that yeah. stuff. Uh, the second pile went a lot quicker. Yeah. We were just able to, oh, and the, the challenge of the first one was we couldn't really get the chipper into a good yeah. location. Um, we put it where we best could and it was not ideal. Yeah. But the second position, we were able to put the chipper right here and then just kind of like move things yeah. between the, the pile and the chipper. I think it's interesting that in this pile, there were some trees that still had leaves on. And uh, so maple didn't have, or like maple's leaves were just really shriveled yeah. up. Versus, I think actually it might be maybe birch that had um, the still green leaves on. Um, and they all came down at pretty much the same time. Yeah, so. or maybe actually maybe it was ash. Next up, we're gonna head up the uh, up the driveway area to the third and final pile. Yep. Uh, which is a pretty big pile, but again that one's mainly branches like this yeah. one was, and so that should hopefully go fairly quickly. Yeah. We've got the chip on the tractor, so it's nice and easy to move yep. around. And so we. Our builder bag experiment, um, I mean, they meant like they're, another name for them is landscaping bag. So I think it's okay. Uh, we can sort of roughly fill them in. Um, and then with a, I guess with a tractor, we can top it up. But so we got three bags. I mean, each is like 20 bucks or something like yeah. that. Um, and they're reusable. Right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, I thought we'll put the two bags up top because from there we actually might want to move the chips away to like down here at the bottom. Yeah, we're thinking this area down here, we're not quite sure what we're going to do with it. Yeah. So for now, just leaving all the wood chips here is as good as anything else. Yeah, let's do the third pile. It's hard work. Okay, this is what happened with our bag. Uh, I'm not sure I would call this experiment successful, but for now we'll leave it here. So now we're done with the chipper and uh, we'll take it back. This trail here we uh, cleared out to be a trail to go to the pond. So I think we'll spread these wood chips on that trail so that all this grass stuff doesn't grow on it and doesn't carry ticks. And then... Uh, we dealt with this pile here and that pile there. And uh, yeah, I'm so happy that it's done. And this is wood chip pile that got generated from the hardwood, mostly hardwoods. And you kind of can see there's a lot more green stuff and leaves in here. That's why we were thinking of maybe using it for garden. But we'll have so many wood chips uh, by the time we put in the driveway that uh, these piles might actually be in the way. So we maybe actually put them on the trail to the pond. Um, we'll see. This is the rock on the logging trail. Um, this is, I think, actually bedrock. And this is why we're not 
putting the driveway right here because we would have to cut through that to put the base layer for the driveway. That's why we are kind of going there around this incline where probably all of it underneath is bedrock. So we're all done for today and we managed to chip everything that we wanted to chip, which is a uh, great progress. And uh, nine inch chipper was a beast. And I think this one as well. It is, it's actually a surprisingly different machine though. Yeah. Like the, it's not just smaller and not as powerful. It just, it somehow like just feels a little bit different. And, uh, and particularly like the shoot on it, I think mm. isn't as big, yeah. which I think makes it more prone to getting blocked by stuff. And we were chipping different stuff today. So when we did the top pile, it was mainly drier yeah. logs and things uh, or branches, I guess. It was happier with that for yeah. sure. Um, but it still chipped six inch. Oh, happily, yeah. Uh, thing. So I think that is what I'm impressed about. The nine yeah. inch chipper chips nine inch logs and six inch chipper does chip six yeah. inch logs. And we probably only put one or two six inch logs in today. Yeah. The vast majority were like under three inches. Yeah. It was just a lot of branches and stuff. But overall, it worked really well. Every time we do this, we're learning more about how to do it, I think we've got a good system working. I've kind of hurt my ankle today, so Diana's been doing a lot of the leg work, literally, just moving <laughs> things and, and, and bringing things over to the machine so I could then feed them. To be honest, that system worked really yeah. well. Having yeah. someone like just feeding the machine yes. and someone bringing things over. They're not in each other's way. Yeah, and it makes it easier to feed from the side. Yeah. Like we were trying to do that last time, but it was hard to do when you were kind of both walking yes. up to the machine. Yeah. One of the things that is different today that I hadn't realized until halfway through was it doesn't have the rubber flaps, yes, yes. Uh, kind of the guard, the safety guard there. So I have to be more careful. So you have to be even more, even though it's smaller, you have to sort of be more careful yeah. of things flying out. But I think we did a pretty good job today of trying to stay to the side as much as possible. Yeah. And uh, and I think we did yeah. a good job with estimating how um, how fast we can chip the piles that we have and we estimated correctly that it would take one day to do it. Yeah, I mean, we ended with maybe like another half hour to spare before we'd have had to call it a day anyway to get the chipper back on time. Yeah. So yeah, no, I think it worked out worked really well. This will not be the last time we rent a chipper. Yes. Um, it's really useful on the property being able to do this to clear yes. up stuff. And it's very useful that we have the tractor. Like you wouldn't oh. want to get the truck where to bring the chipper in the places we brought it in. Yeah, th these are the kind of things where like, if we didn't have the tractor, just we would- be able to do it. Yeah. Or, or I, it will be much harder. I think we would we would be in, in danger of risking trying to do these things yeah. with the wrong equipment. So trying to do it with getting the truck in there yeah. or- Or just or, a lot more walking. A lot more walking. Or we'd end up just saying, we can't do this at all. We're gonna have to get someone in to do it. Yeah. Or we're gonna have to rent other machinery as yeah. well as the, the, um, the chipper or it would just be a longer rental. We'd have to yeah. rent it for multiple days yes. to then drag all those logs by hand over. Yeah. The tractor is, before we bought the tractor, we sort of said like, we think we know a load of things we're gonna use it for, but there's a load of other things that we just don't know. Yes. And this is a great example of that. Yeah. So, yeah, really happy. Yeah, so now I'll return the chipper and we are done for the day. We are exhausted and sweaty and we've drunk so much water today. Still not enough. And still not enough. Long day. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.